guys, it's actually Lollipop here, and welcome to The Sims 3 Generations. Yes, I've been wanting to do a Generations LP for a while now, and I'm just now getting to it. I was up to like 3 a.m. preparing this, so hopefully it's good. I do definitely still want to add some stuff to the town, because we are living in Sunset Valley. Now, as you can probably see, there is a pretty important something going on um now i did this a little bit differently to how i would normally start an lp where we're not starting out from scratch we actually have a really nice house with really nice furniture but you know when when things seem too good to be true they usually are too good to be true so there's a little bit of a catch but um let's get through this happy fun time before we discuss their overwhelming debt He would. I actually think he has the clumsy trait. I think that's why he did that. There we go. They are now engaged. So let's introduce you to the Sims. So first up, I think I'm going to have Alice come over here. <laughs> Look at him. This is perfect. This is actually so perfect. This is Alice Peer. Um, they do both have the same last name. I think you actually only get the other person's last name when you officially marry them, not just propose to them, but that's what I did anyways. Um, but this is Alice Peer. She is family-oriented, virtuoso, clumsy, artistic, and friendly. Her favorite music is indie, her favorite food is cheesesteak, and her favorite color is sea foam. And she also is in the music career. She's almost about to get a promotion to level two. She's starting to get okay at guitar. And this is Caden Peer. He's family-oriented, clumsy, animal lover, and easily impressed and ambitious. His favorite music is also indie. That's kind of why they get along so well. Her, his favorite food is tri-tip steak and his favorite color is also sea foam so i guess if they ever want to paint their living room a color i guess there won't be any fights about it now i did say something about overwhelming debt uh yeah you know what let's let's talk about that while they go eat at the bistro um so here is their house i didn't completely make this i just expanded on to the house so you can probably recognize what the original house is but it has really nice stuff like look at this like look at these countertops the most expensive like they have really good stuff and they actually have a really expensive car i think it's in one of their inventories they have a super nice office this bathroom is so nice they have their bedroom and all in all all of their furnishing costs i think like a hundred and ten thousand so and obviously they didn't just get all of that money and they so they did take out a loan to you know buy all that stuff now on top of their bills which are almost a thousand now they have to pay a thousand every week until they can pay off seventy thousand simoleons kaden okay so he actually used to be a doctor um, but he did lose his job. I don't know why he lost his job. Maybe he just wasn't the one they wanted, so he did get fired. And obviously with their debt, plus like a thousand dollar bills, it he had to get a job. He desperately looked for anything, anything. And the only thing he could find is daycare. And don't get me wrong, he loves kids, but we all know toddlers can get pretty annoying in this game. So he really didn't want to do a daycare unless he absolutely had to, and that's what happened. He absolutely had to, because he had no other choice. And why? It said a hundred. We just got scammed. We just paid 50 extra. And now I think I'll actually have them go see a movie, because I think it is time. Yes, I'll have them. Watch Condroy Sunglasses while I explain a little bit more. So, like I said, he did get fired. He had to become a daycare guy. He would have absolutely loved to work at the grocery store, the bookstore. 
especially the bookstore. He's a little bit geeky and nerdy and all of that. He, the only thing he could find was daycare, and he really didn't want to do it, but he's like, you know what? I gotta work for this. This is my fault. We're in so much debt. Well, partly my fault. So I gotta work, even if it's something that I don't want to do quite yet. So judging by the beginning, you can probably piece together that they did just get engaged. Um, so we probably won't be having kids till about part four or five, which I know that's kind of sad. But I do want them to try to get promotions and to throw bachelor and bachelorette parties. I believe that came with generations. And don't worry, I know... Oh my gosh, my voice! <laughs> Hold on now, give me one second. Okay, hopefully this is a little bit better. Um, I know that it is Sunset Valley, so... You know, it's Sunset Valley, it has ugly townies, not very good lots. Um, I will play stuff down, including a comic store. I definitely will change some things and play slots for this LP and definitely place townies because I do want them to have a lot of friends. Also, sorry this first part has so, so much talking, but first parts always have a lot of talking because it's introducing the Sims and, you know, sometimes telling you their backstories. Oh, what is going on over here? Oh my! And here we have Nancy Landgrab. I feel like I've never even seen her in Sims 3. Sorry there is so much talking, but I really want to enter. What is going? What? Um, aren't you married, Nancy? Aren't you married? You know what? Yeah, pull that face. Pull that face because you're a lying, backstabbing cheater and nobody likes you. Sorry, that was kind of mean. <laughs> okay, but I do think I'm going to have them head home because I usually go to bed at about 11 or 10.30. So they should probably be heading home. Yeah, here's their car. It's super fast and it's super nice. Well, I think I'll give you a more in-depth tour of the house in the morning just because it'll be light outside. So, yeah, I will see you in the morning. Can I voice, like, stop? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <coughs> okay, guys, it is the next morning. It's actually 6 a.m. I... Oh, my gosh. Why is my voice doing this? I don't know. Excuse that, please. I'm going to give you a tour of the house because doesn't this just look so nice? Maybe I'm just biased because I love the brick and blue siding combo. I'm going to give you a quick but in-depth tour. So, there's a little bike stand. These columns, I hate the flowers that are on them, but they were the best looking ones in my opinion. Here's their super expensive car. I love their lights. Apparently a raccoon knocked down a trash can, which is kind of funny because that happened in the Showtime LP too, part three actually. I think this might actually be going up before part three, so just ignore I said that. We walk in. Now here is a cat little post. Now I do just want to say I'm not focusing on pets whatsoever. We might get a few pets, but it, they're not. It's not like it's a pets and generations LP. It's just generations. I feel like. You know, pets make you feel more homey, and, you know, especially when we have kids, you know, they might want puppies, so, ooh, we could give them puppies for Christmas. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself here. And yeah, Kaden also is an animal lover, so here's our living room. Expect to see this rug a lot, because I use that rug all the time i designed it i personally think it's beautiful out on the porch we don't really have anything out there quite quite yet here is the little bar area plus kitchen the office i love the office i put offices in like all of my sims houses but i just i think they look so nice and i love this one with the cool bay window I love, like, these lights with the bay window with the piano. Like, I think that's so, like, almost, like, pretty. Especially at night when there's just, like, a nice little faint glow on the piano. Here's a guitar because, um, as we addressed earlier in the video, Alice is, um, she, she works in the music career, so she does need to be good at guitar. I actually think Kaden is going to take up piano. 
There's a telescope and an easel because she wants to actually master the um, painting and writing skills. So she's going to have a lot of hobbies and a lot of skills to master. She is so pretty though. Like I really, I'm excited to see how their kids will look. And then you walk up here, actually, wait, I don't, how did they, I think they did get through here. I mean, she obviously went down. That looks kind of weird, though. I'll, I'll have to see what Caden looks like when he goes down there and see if I need to change it. Here is the little laundry area. I might change the walls up here just because they look kind of bland when they're upstairs. In my opinion, just a little place to sit down. This bathroom, this bathroom is so nice. There's a sink area. There's a really nice bathtub area with a little robe and... I love bay, I'm like, my newfound appreciation in The Sims is bay windows, so you'll probably see a lot of those. Here's a shower, a little medicine cabinet. I like to always put that in bathrooms, because most houses do have a little medicine cabinet in the bathroom. Here's this, I love this toilet area, and that sounds so weird, like, hey guys, I really like this toilet. I really like this toilet. I love this toilet paper roll that came with um, that came with late night. I actually prefer it over the normal one. And then we have a super nice little picture. I feel like it just ties the room together so well. We have some magazines for, you know, people that might be on here for a little while. And their bedroom. Oh my gosh, their bedroom. It is so pretty. Here, there's a little plant and a little vinyl, vinyl, however you say it, player. Here's their degrees, a cool picture. I'm saying that this is a magician or a musician that, um, that Alice really likes because, you know, she's into music and she's actually in the music career. She's kind of hoping to be, you know, kind of a big celebrity with her music. There's a little makeup thing. When I found that, I knew that I had to put it on there. I think that's just so cool. I love decorating my Sims' houses with just random junk. Here is a little bookshelf. This bookshelf is so nice. And then as you can see, there's a couch. This is more of like a chill down and reading area. Also, I love these curtains. Here's their bed. I love this. With their, I love the picture above it. I feel like it just ties everything to go together so well. It's, you know, it's a big pop of, co pop of color. And a mostly like black and white, like light bluish room. And it just, I love it. I really do. And then there's just another chair because I didn't know what to put there. Oh my gosh, what just happened to my voice? I just barked. I just barked like my dog okay here's his sleeper by the way in case you were wondering he does have cat slippers okay yeah he can get through there it looks a little weird but it's okay i like how it looks down here now, i definitely do want them to throw bachelor at parties and bachelor parties of course even though i feel like kaden wouldn't be the one to like go party you know go out on the town with his boys i he's that's not him that's not him. And we literally know no one. Okay, I need to meet some people and I need to place some people in the town. Okay guys, I just realized that my timer um, for this part is about to go off. So it's about time to end it here, which I'm so sad about. I'm having so much fun. I cannot wait for this Let's Play because if I'm already having so much fun and I'm just introducing The Sims, that's a really good sign. So I do think I am going to um, record it, like another like two parts right after this because I'm having so much fun. So I hope that you're excited for this LP just like I am. I am so excited. I hope you like these Sims. I hope you're excited to see, you know, how they grow and how their children, you know, grow. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. Have a great, great day. Why do I always forget one part of my intro? Thank you so, so much for watching. It means so much, especially when it's a brand new LP. Uh, so yeah, have a great, great day. Goodbye.